Hi guys, welcome to Traders Talk, and uh, this is your host Ming Hong. And uh, what's happening this week? All right, great, 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 great for you to take time to join us, and uh, it is always exciting show <laughs> for us, at least for me. Yeah, and uh, what has happened last week? We will talk about uh, shortly, and then uh, what do we expect uh, this this week itself? Uh, we're coming to the end of November. We have just uh, finished uh, November uh option expiry uh and we are moving on to the december expiry which is the last month for the year and uh, hopefully we still uh get a good uh december month at least uh, the 11 month has not been good to you hopefully <laughs> the 12 months will be uh something good to you hopefully the santa cross rally will also come yeah all right so for those who have just joined us uh welcome to traders talk and uh, this is actually a show uh, where we talk about uh, trading, uh, trading uh, using options mainly. Uh, and of course, uh, if you are investing or if you are trading the stocks, it is also uh, a show where we, or you can also join us. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, this, uh, whatever we talk about the markets and uh, the stocks, uh, the strategies would more be on uh, options. But of course, uh, the things on technical charts which we actually speak about uh, would also be relevant for your stock trading yep and uh, uh, mainly uh, we speak about the u.s market uh, maybe some stocks uh, related to the uh, china side uh, which are also listed on the uh, u.s stock market we will also cover yep all right so what uh, has actually happened last week um practically nothing much <laughs> All right. So, uh, if you look at, uh, if you have been watching the market uh, last uh, last week itself after the uh, CPI release uh, on uh, ten or ten of uh, November, right, where we had a seven to eight percent pop in the market, and and that's where uh, the market uh, practically held on uh, since then. Yeah, we have not actually moved much. Uh, we have been going. Uh, up a bit and then down a bit and then sideways uh, up till uh, yesterday itself is just uh, also a small uh, movement um, and uh, we'll just look at the charts just uh, to 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 um, see where we are uh, till the current uh, week uh, let me just share the screen So for those uh, people who who have been uh, watching the market, actually, um, you don't need to actually watch the market every day. <laughs> in fact, yesterday, uh, in fact, yesterday, uh, okay, in fact, yesterday, uh, I I did not even uh, look at the market. <laughs> yeah, because the market is actually quite slow, right? So actually, I slept uh, I slept quite early. I was not well yesterday, so uh, I slept uh, basically slept early. Let me just uh, put back my face on you can't see me right uh okay all right uh bigger here okay okay so uh, actually i said uh you don't have to look at the market every day um uh, depending on how you trade uh, of course uh, if you are a day trader uh, you need to actually actively uh, look at your positions uh or if you are a swing trader it's not necessary for you to actually do the look at the trade you can actually put in your trades put in your stop losses if you're trading stocks uh, stop loss take profit and then basically just wait uh, for your prices to go or just watch uh, it whenever you are free uh, and of course if you are trading options depending on what type of strategy you trade uh, if you are actually trading on um, credit strategies then of course um, you uh, things are, are are probably a bit more slower <laughs> because uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, some credit strategies are non-directional. That's a bit slower. Some strategies are directional, um, and even uh, when we are saying it's directional, uh, we sometimes still still uh, are able to actually uh, have a leeway 
uh, don't not to have a look at it every every day. Yeah, uh, and of course, uh, most of the times uh, during this volatile times, um, most of my uh, current strategies are non-directional, non-directional. Yeah, meaning neutral strategies. Uh, mainly, uh, the market has been actually moving. Uh, I would say. Um, uh, sideways per se although uh, at certain times you can see that it has a big pop uh, up or down uh, but uh, most of the times during the duration of the trade it will actually uh, come back uh, to a certain uh, level yeah so if you look at uh, s p uh, 500 okay s p 500 is basically uh, uh, the 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 market indicator for the general market uh, which we are in uh, we actually look at s p 500 yeah so for those who have just joined us on this show, so this is what we see. Yeah. So for those who have been following, you know that uh, basically I only talk about uh, S and P um, as the market uh, indicator where we are actually uh, looking at the market. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, last yesterday itself, uh, this is actually the uh, weekly chart. Let's do the daily chart. Yeah. If you look at the daily chart, right? This is the daily chart. Uh, we ended the week last week uh here right here yeah you can actually see uh, this this was the candle where we ended uh, last week yeah, this was the candle so basically uh we the market the the, the price did not actually move uh, for uh, last friday yeah it basically opened and closed more or less uh where it, it opened right you can see this uh, uh candle here uh, and of course, uh, since last uh, week, right, uh, when we actually had the show, uh, we we did mention that I watch out for uh, retracement, retracement after the uh, huge pop up. Yeah. So this was actually the huge pop up, up right, uh, the week before, uh, Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and uh, I think on Monday itself, the market was down. Then of course, uh, we we were saying that uh, watch for the uh, price to retrace before actually. Uh, going up further yeah in fact uh what has actually happened is that it, it, it retraced yeah it retraced uh, on uh on monday then uh intraday it actually went up uh it actually went up higher but of course uh, it did not uh, manage to uh, breach the four thousand emotional level and it, it actually uh closed uh, lower and of course from there on uh, we, we went all the way down uh, and i think last week only one day uh, where the market was actually up, which was actually a, a, a Thursday, a Thursday and basically Friday, uh, we were we were uh, it opened I think uh, gap up uh, up and we closed uh, more or less where we, we were and uh, uh, yesterday itself uh, we were down about uh, 15, 15 points yeah. So the the thing which uh, we need to actually still watch out is uh, the uh, levels. Yeah, we always watch for levels, and uh, four thousand is actually one level uh, which you need to actually watch out for. Uh, the the price need to actually uh, break up uh, above uh, four thousand, but uh, probably this week uh, the market liquidity is low. Mainly uh, also uh, probably people have actually already gone for <laughs> Thanksgiving holiday, right? Uh, thanks, uh, Thursday, I think uh, it's Thanksgiving market is closed on Thursday and Friday is actually a half day, half day uh, trading. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so 4,000 is uh, one level where we need to actually see the price bridge. Uh, and of course, uh, right now itself, uh, you can see that uh, I would say uh, another level where we need to actually watch out uh, on the bottom side is uh, the 3,900 level. Yeah. So the price, uh, because of the huge pop here, right? Huge pop here. The the the, the market don't have enough energy to continue to go up. Yeah. Normally, you would see that the prices tend to go up, come down, go up, come down, go up, come down, right? And of course, uh, uh, at this time itself, uh, one day itself, uh, it popped up about six or six to six over percent. So uh, the the loss uh, in momentum, loss on power, everything. Uh, one shot, uh, people. Um, uh, uh, it, uh, uh, Silang everything. <laughs> Silang means they put every, all the bullets one shot. They pump it up here, but of course uh, now it has retraced and uh, it may likely retrace to three thousand nine hundred <clears throat> before it actually hit this uh, this uh, support level here. 
uh, before it can actually uh, go up. Yeah, uh, but of course, uh, there is also possibility it can actually go uh, lower. Yeah, mainly, uh, of course, uh, due to the market sentiment uh, that there is another uh, CPI release uh, on 13th of December and on 14th, uh, it is actually the uh, Fed, Fed uh, fund rate hike uh, that, that is the last one for this year for, is the last one for this year so far the fed has actually uh continuously raised uh, by 75 basis points uh, uh at the last uh, four um fed, uh, fed rate uh, meetings and the last one of course uh, the expectation currently it is uh, 50 basis point but uh recently um uh, there was a fed member which says that uh they would they would uh they would not um uh, there is also a possibility that uh, they can do a 75 uh, basis points so that's why uh once that statement came out uh that also uh scared the market a bit uh that uh, it is a bit indecisive right now whether to uh uh pump one last round in <laughs> punt, i say punt one last round in for uh uh for for the for the uh, prices to go up yeah. or uh, if they put in uh this round and in case uh, the the rates are higher than expected then uh, that will actually cause uh the market to actually uh, drop back uh to the uh, lows yeah about 3500 uh, levels yeah. so these are the uh, things which we need to actually take care. So that's why uh, when when I say we are more in neutral trades, uh, this is actually one of the reasons because of the uncertainty whether it will actually go up or go down. So uh, the trades which we are actually taking right now uh, is more to the neutral uh, neutral side. Yeah, because uh, why why neutral? Uh, I mean um, because as I said, the the things can actually go uh, two two ways, right? Uh, and when you actually have a neutral uh, strategy, uh, basically these are all more mainly on the, uh, on the uh, credit credit side, uh, where we basically uh, sell options. Yeah, where we basically sell options, and of course uh, the most common and um, I would say um, defined risk uh, where you can actually cap your risk uh is actually uh, using uh an option structure uh, called iron condor yeah we have actually covered iron condor uh multiple times uh, on our traders uh, traders talk in fact uh last last uh last week last week itself uh we have actually closed uh our iron condor trade on uh, xle our iron condor trade on xle which we basically uh did uh trade digest uh on the uh show on i think 16 or 16 or 18 of october yeah we did one uh trader stock show where we basically uh, uh did a, a, a dissect on how to actually structure out uh, an iron coin law and xl on xle and of course uh, we did that pre-market and during the market itself we have actually entered into uh entered into the trade okay so this was actually the iron condor trade which we did on uh, 18 october yeah uh, this is 12 11 a.m yeah so i did it um after the time but the show which we actually featured was on uh, 18 october uh we did uh, iron condor and basically an iron condor comprised of uh, four legs yeah uh, uh one on the one on the upper side, one on the lower side. Uh, on the upper side would actually be a uh, bear call spread, bear call spread, uh, which we did. Uh, we sold a uh, 90, 90 uh, call and we bought a 95 call. And then on the lower side is actually a comprises of a bull, uh, bull put spread, bull put spread, uh, which we sold uh, at 75, uh, 75 put and we bought back. Uh, uh, other one at 70 same expiry date which was 18 november yeah which was basically uh last uh, friday right last friday okay so uh we did that on the show uh and of course uh, on the show itself we also uh uh covered the basis why why we actually uh entered into this uh, iron condor and basically we actually entered uh at this place here i think you can see my small mouse right okay we basically entered uh at this uh here on 18 yeah and of course uh, during the show itself uh, we did mention that uh what we actually expect for this 
uh, XLE was uh, we we expect the price to continue to actually go up, to continue to actually go up, uh, and uh, of course uh, because of the past uh, uh, resistance level at around uh, 90, 91 to ninety two, right? We expect that it would it can test the upper boundary of the uh, iron condor. Uh, and 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 then uh, it would actually come back down, yeah, come back down, uh, because of the resistance uh, of uh, this uh, stock between ninety one to ninety two. Yeah, I, here actually, if you can move the chart um, towards the back, you can actually see that there there is a resistance level at ninety one ninety two uh, prior to this. Yeah, so that was uh, our thesis, uh, and we also mentioned that of course uh, because. Uh, when we do an iron condor, there is actually an upper and lower boundary. And as long as uh, the price falls within these uh, two boundaries on expiry, we will actually uh, uh, win on the trade, win on the trade. But of course, uh, because our expectation was that the price would actually continue to go up, right? Uh, we said that, okay, uh, if, if, you, if you want to be safer, you put another uh, 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 bullish leg which which we did by another bull put spread uh, on the bottom yeah that means basically uh our we had an iron condor yeah the normal one which i actually shown you just now on top of that we actually put in another bull put spread uh at the bottom so basically we had actually uh another uh vertical spread which is a bull uh, put spread uh, at the bottom uh, and of course what will happen is uh, this uh leg would actually be profitable uh, when the st uh, stock price goes up, yeah. So of course, uh, the other leg, which is on the call side, would uh, would incur a loss because the price actually has has the upper boundary. But uh, the the bullish leg, which is double at the bottom, right? We have two of these, right? Would actually protect the uh, the the the, uh, the profits uh, for a while, uh, yeah. But of course, uh, we we needed to help on to the trade uh, almost. Actually, right to the expiry date uh, on the 18th itself, uh, and and um, of course uh, the, uh, the the lower legs we have actually exited early at a small debit of one cent each. Uh, we just kept on this uh, uh, call uh, call spread uh, to the last day uh, last day uh, where uh, they had actually a, a retracement, small retracement, because the price was actually between ninety. 90 to 90 between 90 to 95 I, and only on the last day basically it went down below 90 and we actually exited the trade by buying back the uh call uh at 40, 44 cents at 44 cents and the total trade uh which we did uh total credit was collected was uh, 205 dollars and uh, we exited the full trade uh with 204 dollars profit not not bad uh considering that the um, that the uh, price actually has the upper boundary. Or, or, of course, although if you did not uh, did do the uh, additional uh, put below, the additional put below, you will still uh, profit on the trade uh, because uh, you would have closed the trade at uh, 44 cents plus one cent for the uh, bull, bull put spread. So you have closed it at 45 cents and then uh, the total credit for the iron condor uh, uh, that you receive was one one five two. So one five two minus forty five cents, uh, you still get a profit of uh, one one oh seven. Yeah, one oh seven for the iron condor. But of course, you would be uh, 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 very early on to the trade. Uh, you would actually uh, see loss in your PL. You would actually see losses in your PL. Yeah. Uh, uh, I did not see losses in my PL uh, until closer to the to the expiry mainly uh, because I had another bullish leg here to actually protect the trade. Uh, almost about uh, ninety over ninety eight cents uh, to actually protect profits to actually protect the uh, the trade with the losing side, uh, which was the which was the uh, call spread right until um, closer to the expiry where this uh, leg went into profit. Yeah. So this was the iron condor uh, trade. Um, you can refer back to the uh, trader stock. Uh, we have also put it on TikTok. Uh, if you go to TikTok, you can also look at the trade. If not, go back to the trader stock on 18 October. 
Uh, and in this week's uh, uh, newsletter, we had also explained uh, the the uh, the winner basically uh, how did the trade go and basically what kind of uh, adjustments uh, which we actually did or did not do, uh, and also the uh, uh, rationale uh, uh, of our our trade and what were the contingencies uh, in case uh, the the price uh, continued to uh, be above the uh, short call spread uh, on expiry, what what uh, could we have done for the trade? Uh, we have also explained uh, in our newsletter. You can also uh, refer it in the uh, newsletter here. And this newsletter, uh, I send it out every Monday for all the subscribers. Uh, you can actually get it uh, right into your uh, mailbox uh, every Monday. Now, so, uh, Coming back, uh, yeah, so these are the uh, type of trades which we do, uh, neutral trades, and of course, uh, um, the, the reason is, of course, uh, there, there are uh, a lot of, um, uh, within the market here, right, there, there are going to be bound to be a lot of uh, resistance, right, resistance uh, on the upper level for the market, and also at the same time, uh, there are also uh, so-called uh, strong supports uh, on the uh, bottom uh, of the uh, of the stock prices, yeah, uh, and and in particular, if you look at SPX, you can also see that there are a lot of uh, resistance, and of course, this kind of resistance uh, are the levels where you can actually place your um, um, short call short call strikes uh, for the um, uh, vertical spread on the iron condor. Uh, you can actually uh, place it. At uh, levels such as, um, you, see, uh, you can actually place it at levels uh, such as now we are here right now we are at uh, three thousand nine hundred forty. Let's put uh, let's take let's take SPY. Yeah. Okay. So if you look at SPY, right? So we are actually at three nine four uh, today. Three nine four today. Uh, and uh, of course, the levels uh, which we can actually uh, put the strikes uh, on the iron condor, uh, I would say uh, 394, uh, this is one level, uh, 410, or 410, 410. Uh, I think you can even structure up to 420 levels, 420 levels, uh, uh, 420 levels. In fact, uh, I, I did also uh, enter into a uh, Spread uh, on uh, SPY on the call side. I think at least I did uh, 420. Just let me check my trade. I think I did at least 420. Yeah, uh, 420. Or you can actually just very simple, uh, like I always do, just uh, delta 20 uh, for the placement of the short uh, call strike. And uh, the width of the trade, depending on what is your uh, risk. Uh, you can actually uh, just depend on your risk to actually uh, do the width. Uh, of course, if you do a width of uh, uh, five dollars, then basically uh, the the risk would be five hundred minus the credit received for your uh, call spread, which is actually on the top side. Yeah? Uh, and of course, on the bottom side, uh, you can uh, do levels like uh, three seventy, three seventy. 370 uh, would be uh, one level uh, if you can actually uh, do it at uh, these levels. Yeah. 370, yeah. Let me just see. Uh, 370 SPY, let me just check SPY. Uh, but of course, the 16 December is actually a two uh, short uh, expiry to do. 30th December, uh, would still be okay if you if you do it uh, today. Yeah, 30 December will still be okay. I think at Delta 20, 30 December, you can actually reach the price of 372 uh, for the uh, put strike. 372. And for the call strike, you can actually reach uh, 416. 372, 416. 372, 416. Uh, 416. Uh, this is 416, yeah, 416, 
Three seven two. Okay, so uh, more or less you can see that uh, this this uh, four one six is actually above the above the uh, uh, resist uh, resistance level here. Yeah, it's above here. So you have one protection. You have one protection here. Uh, on top of that, uh, you have another protection at the two hundred uh, moving average. This is the two hundred moving average. Uh, you have another protection here yeah so this is the daily right yeah. daily this is 200 so you have two protection uh one is at the 200 moving average uh if it reaches then the next level is at this level which is at uh, around 411 411 level there's two protection here if you keep your uh, uh call spread uh, at this level yeah uh, but of course uh, because the market is retracing right so basically uh last week i did not straight on entered into uh, 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 immediately an iron condor. I just did the uh, call spread on the top first, uh, let it retrace lower, let it retrace lower, uh, lower level, uh, probably if it can go back to the uh, 390 level or lower, yeah, then uh, from there on, uh, I can I can put in uh, another uh, lower a uh, bull put spread, lower bull put spread, so that uh, I would have um, uh, more, even more uh, protection uh, going even further down because the protection uh, for the lower side uh, is actually uh, now I am actually above uh, some of the protection. You see, so this is one level of protection which uh, which is at three six eight. Uh, the other levels are at. Three, at 362 and of course the lowest level is uh, 350 which I, I probably can't go that low so now i make if i do it now i would actually be above the protection level yeah above the protection level i would rather wait uh, on the put side for me to actually do it um, uh, if i can get this uh, uh, short uh, put strike of the uh, vertical lower yeah lower so so of course uh, when you trade uh, 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 not always you need to actually uh, structure out uh, the trade, the full trade at the same time. Sometimes I, I don't do it uh, uh, immediately, uh, mainly because the price uh, uh, is actually uh, having a bigger risk on the lower side, but uh, it is actually suitable to do on the upper side. Then I will actually take the upper side first. But of course, at the end, the intention is still uh, that for me to actually eventually enter into a neutral uh, neutral trade yeah so i just split the execution time uh, uh when i actually uh, execute the uh, execute the trade yeah so so this is uh this is one uh, of course uh, how uh, we can actually uh, uh do the trades uh, and and how basically uh, we uh, put in our positions uh, based on uh, what kind of um, uh, price, what is where is the price is, and of course, uh, based on where the um, hypothesis of the uh, price uh, will be. Yeah? Uh, and of course, uh, I would need to leave the trade. The timing is also important because if I do up till 30th of December, right, 30th of December, then of course, I would actually pass the uh, crit uh, critical uh, event time of the uh, 13 and 14 December, which is CPI and also um, CPI and also this uh, uh, Fed fund rate, right? Where the market can actually uh, move big during during that two days. During during that two days, uh, big movements like five to six percent kind of movement. So of course, uh, before uh, before uh, that date, I would closer to that date, I would actually have to leave. The, uh, the trade yeah I, I i to keep the trade uh after that then basically i would either risk it shooting up uh to the top or going uh, down uh, uh below going down below yeah so there is another consideration uh for uh keeping trades uh, during uh, major events
it's all going uh, to uh, NASDAQ, right? I mean, uh, you can also see that that was actually a uh, retracement, uh, retracement here. And uh, of course, uh, we, 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 we say basically the patterns are more or less the, more or less the uh, same as the uh, S&P uh, 500, right? Uh, where you actually see uh, uh, this is even uh, a more clear uh, structure, right? Yeah, so this was actually a, a double bottom uh, which actually formed. Uh, and of course, uh, the the price nicely uh, breached above the, above the, what is that, above the uh, neckline, above the neckline. Uh, and of course, uh, at that time uh, we did mention we actually want to see a retracement coming down uh, with a, uh, with a, a, a bullish, uh, bullish uh, pin bar, with a bullish pin bar. Of course, uh, that uh, did happen uh, here uh, at this one, this one, yeah. Uh, but of course, uh, this this one would have actually caused uh, a lot of people to, to long, <laughs> to long it. But of course, the next day, uh, you can actually see that uh, the price have actually uh, dropped. So this is actually uh, a, a, bull, a bull trap uh, in the uh, in the uh, making in the making, yeah. And uh, of course, right now, uh, the the uh, how to say the, the the market the sentiment is still uh, on the downside. I would say the sentiment is still on the downside, uh, especially if uh, the the uh, volumes this week will be less due to the uh, holidays. Yeah. So this is uh, another thing which you guys have to uh, watch out for. So this is actually the daily chart, right? So for the uh, and the X basically you are also there is actually also a lot of uh, uh, resistance uh, above uh, at uh, twelve thousand. Uh, here is twelve thousand six, which is actually a very high one. The immediate one which we actually look out for is at um, now we are we are at uh, eleven thousand five hundred eleven thousand five hundred right. So the immediate one which we are looking at is somewhere around here. Um, which is at about 12,001 to 12,200, 12,001 to 12,200 level. Yeah. So this 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 is 12,000, which was the top of this candle, right? Which is also one level uh, where the price needs to actually uh, bridge first. Yeah. So far, of course, uh, on the general market side, uh, uh, corporate side, quite a lot of uh, negative news. Offs and all these kind of things, right? Which is actually coming out, which is uh, basically um, um, how to say uh, indication of, of 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 the companies preparing to have a slow uh, slow market slow economy. So that's why they are actually cutting costs. Uh, prepare for prepare for that. So of course, whether um, the economy will continue to um, be slow uh, would also depend on the uh, decisions by the Fed whether they would uh, continue to aggressively hike the rate, whether inflation would uh, continue to be to be high, or it is actually uh, more on a control basis, so that the Fed can also uh, reduce their aggressiveness in terms of uh, hiking the rate. Uh, probably also uh, towards uh, reducing reducing the level of the uh, the, uh, the rate hike uh, the values. Eventually, uh, 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 maintaining it at that level for a while before uh, cutting back uh, back rates. But of course, that uh, will have to will have to come uh, after the inflation problem is solved, uh, and they are satisfied uh, that uh, that won't be a problem for them anymore. And then that sets the time uh, where the where the uh, how to say the market would uh, continue to uh, re recover. But in fact, the market would would actually recover much faster than the economy yeah? uh, because all those uh, indicators are actually uh, lagging indicators uh, then of course uh, the once the market actually goes, goes up right, then that, that would also be uh, good for the um, I'd say I mean good for the uh, economy because that that would actually uh, show that uh, things are going to recover yeah so this is uh, uh, that's like yeah on in terms of stocks uh, Maybe we can still go through uh, some of the uh, stocks here. Uh, 
Um, of course, right now you can see uh, stocks uh, like um, Apple. Apple has actually uh, retraced these few days uh, again. Uh, problem with the plants uh, in China and all uh, COVID um, lockdowns and all uh, affecting them. That's that's that one uh, where production are affected. Then you can see the price retrace. In fact, most of the China stocks itself uh, had a bit of retracement uh, uh, since uh, late last week. Uh, again, mainly because of the uh, China lockdown. I mean, that's a bit volatile. Uh, if you are actually very directional on China stocks, um, uh, though you can't hold it. If you are trading, you can't hold it for long. Uh, if you are in profits, I would say take profits and and and, and wait for uh, uh, re-entry levels. If you have actually kept your uh, uh, long trades on stocks like Baba, JD, uh, and all right, uh, you would have probably gone into losses right now if you have actually kept. Uh, your trades uh, since the last uh, rally yeah okay visa uh you see that uh, they have a bit of uh, resistance uh, at uh, this levels 215 216 yeah you can see that the the the, the stocks uh, is not able to actually breach uh this uh, these levels yeah you can see that uh, at, at 215 216 there's going to be some resistance it even before it actually uh, reaches uh, here at about two one two two one three, uh, it already uh, retraced uh, retraced down. The same happened in the last uh, last round, right? Uh, it went all the way to two one one. Then you can actually see it uh, uh, retracing. Yeah. So Visa today itself, Visa no, free market not up yet. Okay, so Visa um, a bit resistance. If you actually want to, uh, it actually already came down. A about five bucks here, about five dollars, yeah, five dollars. Uh, but of course, if you actually want to uh, place the trades, uh, then of course, uh, bear call spread. Uh, would, you can still place the bear call spread uh, at a higher level here, probably uh, two one six level, two one six level. Bear call spread is possible, yeah, it's possible. Uh, and we are actually again looking uh, to place trades. Uh, at or above resistance level, yeah. So this is one uh, resistance level, yeah. Um, uh, bullish trade, uh, probably not for the time being for Visa. Not, not, not for the time being. Uh, if the price retrace back, uh, somewhere to the two hundred levels, then you can actually uh, see, um, possible, or possible uh bullish trade on uh Visa, but uh, not at this level uh, currently. But also uh, look at the uh, overall market uh, before placing trades on individual stocks. Uh, we always uh, look at the overall market side first, then uh, we look at the individual uh, stocks. Yeah, PayPal. Uh, I don't touch PayPal <laughs> mainly because of bad, very bad experience. Right? Yeah, you can see that uh, those who those who those who uh, had traded PayPal's right. Uh, it, it would actually be quite bad experience. Yeah? The price actually came down from, I don't know, 200 something, 280 or something. Where is the top? You can see, yeah, 312. <laughs> now it's just 80, yeah? 312. So it's just 80, yeah. Uh, MasterCard was similar, be similar to uh, uh, this, uh, Visa, the patterns uh, between MasterCard and Visa is more or less the same. Yeah, uh, Baba, yeah, and like I said, a uh, slight retracement. Uh, every time it pops or it, it, it goes up, right, you need to actually take a profit on the Chinese stocks. Yeah, the, the, they won't hold on long because uh, 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 one time they unlock their people, another time they lock their people. So it's a bit, uh, a bit uh, messy on the uh, China side. But overall, uh, if you are if you are long term China, I would say uh, the, the the current levels uh, would be interesting levels uh, for you to actually uh, do uh, on a, on a longer term uh, basis. But of course, uh, there can be still uh, some downside uh, some downside to this uh, to these stocks. But uh, uh, even to the lowest, you you look at uh, the lowest, uh, it has actually gone for this Baba at sixty four. 
then of course you need to uh, manage the risk between the current level, uh, which is 81 to 64, whether um, whether it fits you uh, because that that is the level of uh, the support on the lower side, uh, uh, which which it which it has uh, which it, which it, uh, the lowest it had actually gone. I would say yeah. Baidu similar, JD similar, uh, uh, Walmart uh, has been going up. I think since uh, its uh, earnings announcement here, right? Earnings announcement here, yeah, it has actually popped uh, pop up. Uh, and of course, right now, I would say uh, probably to 160, 160, then it will actually uh, look at another level of uh, resistance, which is another nine dollars. Nine dollars up. Yeah, so it just filled back the the gaps here. You see, yeah, they just filled back the gaps here, gap down here. Uh, and of course, right now here, I, uh, probably till December, Christmas, uh, Santa Claus rally possible. But um, from the choppy trade here, uh, I don't see strength uh, in, in, in for it to actually move uh, significantly up. Yeah. Uh, Google, uh, yeah, I mean Google. You can see that uh, it 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 has a lot of uh, let me see, uh, the 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 momentum to 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 go up, right? You see, is hitting this this should be uh, fifty moving average, right? It hits fifty, it comes down. It hits fifty, it comes down. Uh, it hits slightly above 50 it comes down so there is actually a lot of uh, strong resistance at uh, 50 moving average this one uh no probably not uh, k web china stocks uh, china etf on the tech side uh what else uh, okay cme cme may be an interesting stock uh for for a uh, long-term buy-in cme by in yeah you can see that the price uh, CME is actually the Chicago Chicago Mercantile Exchange yeah those are uh, <laughs> responsible for all your uh, options yeah yeah so you can actually look here uh, would be if it comes down back uh, that 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 would actually be uh, uh, interesting uh, buy it for, for for me if it actually comes down but of course uh, this you you would need to actually uh, hold on uh, longer yeah hold on longer uh of course they there is um how to say uh there there is uh they are actually also trying to uh do uh create their own uh, uh crypto exchange uh, crypto exchange under uh, cme and of course if that if that uh happens right then that would actually uh bring uh, uh more uh confidence uh, for people to actually uh trade uh, trade crypto uh, because uh, in the recent uh, uh, problems of the crypto world, right? F F FTX has actually um, uh, went into bankruptcy, right? That is actually a crypto exchange, crypto exchange, uh, uh, ungoverned and all. So that, that is actually, uh, even though it's third largest, uh, the governance is actually quite weak. And of course, if uh, exchanges like uh, established exchanges like CME, which is in the US, uh, they, if they are they are going to do a crypto exchange, then of course uh, that, that would actually be uh, very positive uh, for the for the stock, yeah, for the stock. Yeah. Uh, Facebook retraced a bit from these lows, uh, $90 is now at 109. Yeah, I would say uh, still, um, how to say, um, there's still going to be a bit uh, volatile uh, for this uh, for this stock uh, yeah for this stock yes yeah, actually came down all the way came down uh, all the way but of course if we reach 90 again uh, this is 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 a is a is a good chance because the upside is actually uh, quite high and of course 90 is already a very low price uh, for uh, Facebook. Uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, Goldman Sachs uh, itself, I would say uh, Goldman Sachs uh, is a bit topish. It's a bit topish. Uh, you, you can see that uh, this this was actually the uh, one of the resistance uh, level. It actually breached uh, it uh, for a while, 
before actually coming back down and yesterday it was actually slightly up yeah i would say uh if it actually con comes back down then of course uh they would uh how to say give back uh, some of the uh, profits coming back from here all the way from 290 right all the way to 370 which is actually uh quite quite uh, quite high yeah so this uh this one uh we have actually did uh a bear call spread above yeah i think at about uh 400 level yeah 400 level on the short spread uh, JPM similar, similar. Uh, it has actually breached uh, the resistance here, resistance, and you can see that it is actually uh, in losing momentum, uh, right, right, right at this, uh, right at this place here. Yeah. If the overall market uh, goes down uh, right till CPI, I would say this would also give way, uh, give way mainly because of the uh, profit taking uh, from the people who have actually wrote this huge uh, trend up. Yeah. Uh, Citibank, uh, this is the uh, Cigna, Cigna Healthcare, Healthcare. Uh, healthcare gave up a bit uh, uh, right here before it came back up. Yeah, healthcare, CI and UNH also similar type of uh, pattern. It had a huge dip uh, again, uh, crossing uh, this uh, 200 moving average, right? This 200 moving average. Each time it goes, touches or go down below 200 moving average, uh, I would say uh, most of the time, historically, it would be a good entry point for a long trade. Yeah. 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 So this, 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 this one, two, three, four. Yeah. Five, five. Yeah. Uh, Yum China, China side. Uh, although it's not China, it's. He has he's having his business in 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 china kfc right yeah so uh similar uh, we follow more or less the china sentiment yeah uh, starbucks uh, went quite high uh, mcdonald's uh did uh reversal yeah right here uh we already closed our mcdonald's trade uh we did earlier when it was somewhere around here at least we did, did another um a bear bear call spread. We did a bear call spread somewhere around here, yeah. Uh, and we are, have since closed the closed the trade. Yeah. yeah. So I think we have covered uh, quite a number of stocks. Uh, uh, Twitter no more already. <laughs> this is the last day to get traded. Fifty, fifty-three seventy-five. Yeah. Amazon, yeah. Okay, Amazon uh was is actually quite weak uh this this past uh, one two weeks uh, this past one two weeks, uh and of course uh, it may continue to actually uh come uh, come uh, come down yeah, uh and if it does then of course it's again an opportunity uh to 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 long it again or to actually enter into uh, a long term trade yeah in the last round where we did our uh, traders talk we did one uh we did one immediately after traders talk uh, somewhere around here and pre level at about 80 88 yeah 88 okay nike went a bit too high if it retraces back somewhere around 90 95 level yeah that would be uh, that would be positive good for uh uh, entry long J and J Adobe yeah so these are the Chinese Chinese stocks Chinese stocks Chinese stocks Microsoft yeah Microsoft uh yeah Microsoft is it has has a huge rally uh, together when the market had rally so now it's actually moving moving uh, side, sideways uh, if it comes down back uh, to about two 225 yeah then that's that's uh, another uh, good opportunity to uh, to long it but again uh, caveat uh, look at the overall uh, market 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 trends uh, and also um, depending on if you are 
trading it or if you are, are doing a long-term investments, if you are trading it, then of course, uh, if there are events uh, like the CPI and all, uh, then uh, of course, do take care uh, of uh, huge uh, move, uh, movements on the on the stock. Yeah, I, I think I think I've covered uh, quite a number of uh, stocks in our watch list uh, this uh, this week. Um, and uh, of course, uh, I would say this week would actually be a, probably a, a, a slow a, a slow week. Uh, and of course, uh, slow weeks are good for um, Tita Decay. <laughs> yeah, slow weeks are good if price are not moving, if you are actually entering neutral, neutral uh, trades, right? If you're actually entering uh, neutral trades, uh, then of course, uh, it would actually be, uh, be good because um, price don't move you make money <laughs> yeah so so that 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 is the great thing uh, on, on uh, if you're actually trading uh, options right you can actually uh, make money even if price don't uh, move provided you know what kind of strategy uh, you use okay so uh next week uh i'm having a break i'm having a break uh i won't see you guys i hope that uh, you guys uh, will be able to uh, take care of yourself <laughs> I, I'm sure you do, uh, and uh, of course, uh, like like always, uh, if you have any uh, uh, questions, any questions, uh, uh, do uh, uh, put it up on uh, Facebook or email me. Uh, then uh, I will be able to actually answer uh, your questions or get you unstuck of <laughs> unstuck of any uh problems uh, which you which you face on your on your trade or seeking sos uh, yeah i'm i'm all here to help and uh, i wish you a very a good trading week uh happy thanksgiving for those people who are celebrating uh most asians don't celebrate thanksgiving yeah unless you are mat Sale or what um then of course happy thanksgiving to uh, the listeners out there yeah so until um i catch you in december uh, until then, uh, trade safely. Have a good week. Bye-bye.